Good morning, my friends. Today is September 16th. It's Thursday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. The Church remembers Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and it is day seven of Beformed. We're into our first week already of Beformed. I'd like to look at both of the readings today as it relates to in our own lives as disciples. We have in the first reading uh, St. Paul's letter to Timothy about, he, so he's writing to Timothy, who is like his disciple, this young man that he has been mentoring in the ministry. And he says, let no one contempt, have contempt for your youth. So Timothy had to be young. And sometimes people say, oh, he's young. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, but he's like, have confidence in what the Lord's doing in your life. And I remember when I was uh, a younger priest, <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I felt like, gosh, is, will anybody listen to me, you know, because of my, my youth? But God, we have to have confidence in our sonship and daughtership, of, you know, in God. And we, we need to, you know, live out of that. And he says, Paul says to Timothy, but set an example for those who believe. Be an example. How? In your speech, in your conduct, in the way you love, in your faith, and your purity. What great things for us to contemplate today. Do we, you know, uh, give example? Does our speech lead people closer to God or away from God? Does our speech, you know, maybe is our speech suggestive in ways that is inappropriate and and shouldn't be done or off-color humor? Our conduct. Can people tell just by the way that we live our lives that uh, we are followers of Christ? And the way we love, willing the good of the other, are we laying down our lives for others or is it all about us? With our faith, do we trust that even when times aren't going well, that we, not only are we living out of faith, but are we helping others, you know, with their faith uh, uh, during good times and bad and purity? Uh, Blessed are the pure of heart for they will see God, we hear in the, um, the Beatitudes. So, What am I watching? What am I reading, uh, listening to? What am I ingesting? Uh, You know, is it scripture? Is it prayer? Is it a building conversation with friends? Or, you know, am I struggling with uh, pornography or, you know, listening to radio and podcast that that isn't isn't good for me? Uh, How is my heart? And so, and I love then uh, toward the end of this reading, it says, uh, you know, it says, do not neglect the gift you have, uh, which was conferred on you through the prophetic word with the imposition of hands by the presbyterate. So he was, he was ordained. Uh, Timothy was ordained. He's been given a gift. Don't ne- neglect the gift, the gift. And he says, be diligent in these matters, be absorbed in them so that your progress may be evident to everyone. Attend to yourself and to your teaching. And I think what Paul is referring to here is, Tend to yourself, meaning take care of yourself, your, your, your human needs, and be formed. We talk about, you know, sleeping, exercise, eating right, but also your spiritual needs. Am I, am I praying? Am I reading scripture? Um, you know, am I participating regularly in the sacraments? In my intellectual life, am I reading good things? Um, and then also, so we need to be filled. We need to take care of our body, mind, and soul so that then we can we can teach, we can give away what we receive. Some re- very good things for us to contemplate. Uh, are we taking care of ourselves? And are we then teaching and sharing by example what we're receiving? One of the things we can do is, is in this gospel in Luke chapter 7, this is the story of the woman who, you know, Jesus is eating in the house of a Pharisee. A woman comes who must be a notorious sinner She comes with an alabaster jar of ointment. She anoints Jesus' feet. She, she, you know, weeps on his feet. She kisses them, dries them with her her hair. And the Pharisee, of course, is, you know, gosh, do you know who she is? And, you know, and and Jesus says, basically, I know who she is. And uh, yet she who has been forgiven much loves much. Um, And it, it really makes me think about, wow, how much God has forgiven me for my sins and transgressions. And I'm called then to go out and share that kind of mercy with others. Again, it's that first receiving from the Lord and then giving away freely what we've received. 
how are you doing with that? Are you taking care of your, your human needs, your spiritual needs, your intellectual needs? And then are you sharing that by, by speech, by conduct, by love, faith, and purity? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to save us. Help us to be witnesses to what you've done in our lives, especially in the area of mercy. Help us to recognize how much you've forgiven us and that we may share that mercy with others. Help us to take care of our intellectual, spiritual, and human needs so that by word and deed we can be living examples uh, letters, if you will, that others can read, that we know you and we're your followers, and that others may desire to know you through us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. And again, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. God bless.